single track. Nothing focuses the attention, like trying to stay on a track at speed that is narrower than your handlebars. As with most aspects of dirt riding, we are no good at this, so have no qualifications to do a training bit about single track. But hey, that's never stopped us before. Hey! I just got scared by that because I didn't think yeah. it was solid. <laughs> I just threw it. Body positioning. Until it gets very tight and gnarly, you want to stand most of the time. You can absorb bumps with your legs, and most importantly, you can move your body from side to side as the bike bounces around and stay on that narrow track. <laughs> A good sense of balance makes a big difference riding single track. Try our static balance training. Of course, you should be in the default body positioning that keeps the rear wheel weighted for traction. Keep your head up and look ahead. It's very tempting to look down just ahead of your front wheel in single track, but you need to prepare for what's coming and trust your brain subconsciously to deal with the immediate stuff. Keep it smooth. Deliberately ride in a higher gear with less revs. So often I see guys trying to accelerate and brake hard in single track and they actually wind up riding a lot slower <laughs> and often spearing off the track. It might feel fast because you hear the engine revving, but until you become a very skilled rider, it usually slows you down and causes mistakes. You can ride surprisingly tight single track in third gear if you learn to slip the clutch through and accelerating out of corners. When cornering, lean the bike but keep your body upright. If the tyres slip, you can suddenly pull the bike into an upright position and often this can save the bike instead of crashing. A good way to form this habit is by weighting the inside peg into corners instead of just turning the handlebars. Riders can blast along single track at crazy speeds by using the edges of the single track as little berms when cornering. Impressive to watch, but there is very little room for error. Beginner riders will usually be better off in the middle of the track at first and only using that berm to save themselves if the bike slides down. As with all aspects of dirt riding, think outside the box when it comes to line selection. You don't have to stay in the middle of the single track, especially if there are puddles of water, tree roots or ruts in the middle. Sometimes it pays to do a slalom action across the single track and ride up and down those little walls at the edge. And when there's a boggy patch, it may be safer to just head bush instead of getting stuck in the mud or those deep ruts. Learn to leg paddle while standing on the foot pegs. When it gets rutted and nasty, you will often need to put a foot down. And if you can do this while standing, you'll get through a lot faster. When it gets tough and you have to sit, remember your traction control tips for getting over obstacles like tree roots. You can rock the bike, or do a seat bounce with a controlled drop of the clutch. See our video on traction tips when you are stuck. Nicely done. One of the reasons many riders don't tell others about their single tracks is because you get hopeless riders stuck everywhere. And they think that wheel spinning on the rev limiter will get them through. 
suddenly a beautiful single track becomes a rutted, eroded nightmare. So, learn to ride properly and look after our tracks, ladies and gentlemen. Amen.